Remember the time I got stuck in Los Santos? <laughs> well, I'm still here. It's not bad living here, but sometimes I wish I didn't look like a Walmart Wendy. Wait a minute. An official trailer for GTA 6 was released on Rockstar's channel a few days ago. Maybe staying here a bit longer won't be so bad. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and today we're going to talk about everything we know about GTA 6 based on its trailer. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. Ooh. Wow! Uh, not again. Oh, Christ! Oh, it's a setup, it's a setup. Trust. Trust. GTA 5 was one of the best games I've ever played. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. But GTA 6 will be groundbreaking. Where does the game take place? Grand Theft Auto uses fictional cities for settings inspired by real locations. From what I'm seeing from GTA 6's trailer, it looks like they remade Vice City, located in the state of Leonida. And as you know, the city was inspired by Miami, Florida. The protagonists in this game are Jason and Lucia, who basically are like Bonnie and Clyde, lovers committing crime. The music in this trailer is fitting of the characters as Love is a Long Road by Tom Petty was used. I noticed their character models look different than the leaks as they have distinct facial features. Lucia, for example, has hoop earrings and a mole on different parts of her face. She is shown first in the trailer as an inmate inside a prison, speaking to a prison counselor. There's a photo of her family next to her. After she was released, I assumed she received an ankle monitor just like the one on the poster. Perhaps this could restrict players from attending different areas in Leonida. From the trailer, it looks like she and Jason hijacked multiple shops, one of them called Uncle Jack's Loyalty. Seeing that they were escaping from the law, perhaps they even completed a heist. Lucia is seen in this scene holding a huge wad of cash, proving so. Lucia is shown at this pool party which could indicate a mission she and Jason may go on. On a random note, Rockstar has done a phenomenal job on hair physics. There were rumors on Twitter about her being pregnant, which was interesting. Maybe they're true and things go south as she worries not only about escaping from the authorities, but her child as well. Time-wise, GTA 6 will be set in modern day and social media will play a significant role in the game. On this densely populated beach, we see everyone on the beach with their phones. This guy is filming his girl twerking. From observing the trailer, someone is live streaming Lucia and Jason in their car. Regardless of how bizarre some social media snippets are in this trailer, these were based on real-life Florida events. We got live streams with music artists, a gator entering a store, a man clearing a pool of alligators, a Karen holding two hammers. She must be upset about no managers in sight. An old man watering his garden in a thong, and people twerking on cars. The captions are also pretty humorous as well. Someone called the Department of Transport on this dump truck. Man, people are pretty wild in Miami. If you do live in Miami, hey there, and welcome. I hope you Havana. Great time here. Bad joke? Okay. Apart from the snippets, it looks like Rockstar also added a popular app in the sixth game, which allows people to report crimes in their area, which says a lot about the improvement of NPC behavior. will most likely encounter peculiar residents in missions like Kodak Black. Classic, unfiltered rockstar humor is returning to this game with their billboard signs. Why 69 when you can 919? They also made fun of antidepressants in another sign that says angstapan. It cures emotions. Have you seen this man? Call this number 1-800-BAD-GUYS. The environments in GTA 6 are gorgeous, ranging from the beach, boardwalks, islands, the Everglades, the beautiful water physics, buildings, and more. 
There are seemingly familiar places that call back to the previous games like the Ocean View Hotel, a safe house in the original Vice City game. There's also Vice City Ride Customs, a vehicle customization and repair shop. I remember there being a similar shop in Los Santos. It also seems like car meetups will return to GTA 6 just like in the fifth game and GTA Online. <laughs> Hold on. Lost puppy right here. Hey, what's up? You hear the noise and come to take a look? You get kinda loud in here, don't you? There are gun shops in the sixth game, such as Pawn and Gun, which may replace the ammunition store in GTA 5. There will also be familiar vehicles and new ones like jet ski rentals, low riders, blimps, helicopters, motorcycles, dirt bikes, yachts, planes, speedboats, monster trucks like the Liberator, and other vehicles. It also looks like we can tow boats in the game using trucks, reminding me of the time we tried to get Michael's boat back in GTA 5. Maybe we'll get a similar mission in the sixth game, where we hijack a boat on the highway. Rockstar had added a ton of detail into this game like moving cargo, tennis courts, parking booths, toll booths, and stunt jump opportunities like those adrenaline junkie trials in GTA 5. In terms of club activity, the game showcased new clubs like the Thrillbilly Mud Club and the High Roller Club. They also showed a strip club and a nightclub in the trailer as a way to show Vice City's bustling nightlife. In addition to these findings, Rockstar is also bringing back the old iconic drinks, E. Cola and Pisswasser, to rejuvenate us before robbing NPCs. We travel the world over to find the freshest natural spring water so that we can bring you, our consumer, the cleanest, highest quality beer possible. After all, beer consists of 98% water. Arrowhead beer. Quality you can trust. Hey, what the- in terms of vibrant life, Vice City will be very lively not only with people, but with animals like dolphins, sharks, iguanas, tiny dogs, deer, and crocodiles. From what I've seen from the trailer, it appears they have reused the crocodiles from Red Dead Redemption 2, which is great, as it was another one of their iconic games. The trailer revealed that we would possibly be playing GTA 6 in 2025, which left me with some mixed feelings. It's a long wait after after all. However, seeing how we waited for many years for this game, we can wait a bit longer before diving into the GTA 6 universe. So, what are your opinions on GTA 6 after seeing the trailer? Do you have high expectations for this game? Or do you want this game to be one of the things you forget? What do you hope to see in this game? Comment your opinions below. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching, and that's all.